welcome to everything with Dauphin and today is the day that you remain motivated yes I said so today I'll be talking about something that the headline would have told you about you know stop giving people power over your emotions a lot of people don't understand this but when you say someone makes me feel bad it's not actually that person you are the one that make the person to succeed to make you feel bad yeah it's not the person if I walk to my office and I have told Jonah not to do some certain things and he has done them it's on Jonah it's not on me so if I allow Jonah's action to make me angry and then I'll go home and say Jonah really makes me angry Jonah did not make me angry I have shabbily and stupidly and foolishly handed Jonah my emotions so that he can talk with them I either look at it as his deficiency whether he deals with it today or not deals with it tomorrow or not is his business it will come to haunt him a long line in his career or wherever I will just talk to him because I want him to look good to become better to become better in the future not necessarily allowing it to haunt me or to hurt me or to make me feel sad we oftentimes quickly give people so much power over our emotions it ought not to be so for a staff that does not want to do what you have instructed them to do it shouldn't make you feel so sad i don't know whether you understand what i'm saying you can just look at it on the other side that will make you feel good for a husband that you have told him husband try to be coming home early so that we can go through the children's homework together before we go to bed and he keeps coming late ignore him and continue to do your homework with your children if you don't know how to get the answer because i am bad in math so if it's mathematics if my husband is not around i virtually cannot do it but we have internet now you know we can try to research and do what we are supposed to do that is not giving him power over your emotions rather than when he comes back home you start complaining and shouting and screaming and i bet you by the time you do that today tomorrow next tomorrow he will come back early at times when we give people so much power people like to toy with things you can see when you give a child toys they toy with them people generally are built to toy with things and crave for attention so if you continue to give people power over your emotion they will mess you up you will be thinking that as you cry and wallow to end their sympathy they are thinking on how to make it better no they will find a way even when they say sorry today tomorrow next tomorrow to come around once in a while to do that so that they can get the kind of attention you give to them today i want you to know that that person you're saying he offended me you allow that person to offend you there's a friend of mine that was talking about some certain group of friends that do not want to be friends with her anymore and then they are doing things to get to her and i ask her a question i say this thing you said these people are doing anytime they see you if you see normal person that you do not know at all pass through you and is doing the same thing will you be bothered she said no she won't be bothered i said okay assume they are not people that you know and you will feel better and we have often given people so much power over our emotions that they dictate how we feel they dictate how we respond they dictate what kind of food we eat some even slide into depression it's too much power given to somebody else take it back by not allowing people make you do the things that ordinarily you wouldn't have done when they prepare to make you angry look for a different way to to divert or you can act totally ignore or is he a boss a boss that anytime you come to work she has something to complain even if there is nothing to complain about there is something they call selective hearing train yourself train your ears to have selective hearing choose something that you want to listen to at that time and you might not listen to the whole thing that your boss said is survivor of the fittest nowhere is clean nowhere is pure nowhere is different everywhere has its own challenges and in this world we have to look for a way to survive 
today I don't want the video to be too long. I just want us to stop giving people power over our emotions. What she did to me, I will never forgive her. You allow her or him to do that to you. If you don't allow, they won't be able to do it to you. With one example I have given about pretending that those people do not exist or they are not even in your front or they are people that you do not know, we give you some peace and it will make you wrap up your mind around you. It's one of the examples I want to give today. Make a decision today not to allow someone to make you angry, not to allow someone to make you do things that ordinarily you won't do. Haven't said that, this is where I have to go. Thank you so much and I love you. After the rain, joy comes in the morning.